How you doing guys? Chris here. Well, my motors came in today. These are the Flywoo 2303 2303.5. And I think they're gonna be a good comparison with the 2203.5 from Diatone. These are these Toka motors. So I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison with the, uh, the Toka motor and the new Flywoo 2303. All right, let's get this box open so we can take a good look at the motor. I bought a pack of four, so you can buy them in a pack of four or individually. And uh, they're pretty good looking motors. They got this chrome finish to them, so that's pretty nice. Got some good long wire here. Looks like 18, maybe even 16 gauge. I'll get a measurement on that, to put it up there in the corner. And uh, yeah, here's the motor. Looking pretty good. Nice shine to it. Uh, pretty decent air gap there. Yeah, it looks like it's a 12 by 12 mounting pattern with the M2 screws. So definitely for a smaller frame. Let's uh, get this on the scale and do a proper weight for this one. All right, and let's get the weight on this guy. So with all of the wire, it's 22.5 compared to the Toka motor, which I did trim, keep that in mind. Twenty point four. All right, so let's just take a good look at that wire though. You can tell this is much thicker wire. So that'll be a consideration. And then also, this has M3 mounting in a 16 by 16, where this is M2 mounting in a 12 by 12. So that's also a big consideration. Okay, also in the package came the mounting screws for this. And you got two different sets here. So we've got, it looks like five millimeter long M2 screws and looks like seven millimeter. So these might actually be for your props and then these might be for the mounting themselves. Uh, oh, I almost missed it. There are some more screws here as well. So there you go. So you've got all the screws you need for the props and for mounting onto your frame. And uh, they also threw in free gift, got a battery strap. Very nice, always use a strap. If not for your battery, for your GoPro. So that'll be great. Uh, looks like they uh, decided to skip the box and went for a packaged envelope or a padded envelope. So that's good. Saved a little bit of cost in shipping there. So anywhere they can save money that can uh, reflect back to the purchaser, that's always good. So, all right, let's put these on a frame. Okay, so we got the motors mounted up here on clearance quad. I'll tape these off. I just got a test motor direction, but uh, the ethics props that I usually use, the uh, lemon line props, are not going to go on here. Obviously, they're a T-mount. The steepest T-mount prop I have is this Bi-Blade 5x3. So it's a three-inch pitch. These were uh, three by, uh, excuse me, these were five by 3.7 by three. So obviously, there'll be a little bit of difference when I do the uh, comparison of the flight between the, uh, Diatone 2203.5s and these Flywoo 23.3.5s, but best I can do, uh, closest thing I can get in the same uh, prop pitch. Since these are Cinewhoop motors, I'll fly it on this little guy right here. This is a 3x3x3 three by three by three from uh, HQ, so we'll put that on there as well and just see how it performs. All right, so these are the HQ 3x3x3. Three and uh, yeah, they, without prop guards or ducks, this thing looks a little silly. Get a closer look at that. It's gonna be on 6S. We'll see. I mean, these are supposed to be Cinewhoop motors, so a three inch prop is what you're supposed to run on it, maybe even a three and a half.
Well, he got in the air. Literally a half throttle. Just to get a hover though. So here's the exact same flight you just saw, only for the FPV view through the goggles. So you can see how much vibration there are due to the motors. And it looks fairly clean. I mean, there's a little bit there, but granted, this is still stock tune of Betaflight, not set up for a three inch, not set up for a Cinewhoop. So obviously you're gonna tweak that, but it isn't bad. Uh, I'm at half throttle, like I said, there's not a lot of vibration here. So like I said, I'm gonna compare the Toka motors to those Flywoo motors. So this is the Toka motor on 6S, and I'm just doing a quick flight around the neighborhood so you can see during punch outs how much vibration and distortion there is. So you can see uh, how much control doing basic maneuvers, the props and the motors have in this combination. The Toka motors perform well. Uh, I didn't have any complaints. Uh, when I put them on a seven inch quad, like a sub 250 gram seven inch quad, I had some complaints, but on a five inch quad, like it's intended to be flown on or a Cinewhoop, I think I ran them on the 89, eight bladed props. They were fine. So, uh, as you can tell, this is a decent motor from the flight footage. If you want to see the entire review of the Toka motor, I have a link in the video description. But uh, just using this as a baseline to compare how the Toka motors performed versus the Flywoo motors. All right, so now we have the Flywoo 2303.5 1750 KV on 6S. So it's a 16S, or excuse me, it's a 6S KV. So it'll be right in line. We'll do a quick hover and then I'll do a couple of punch outs and then we'll go for a flight. Much better. <laughs> it's the five inch prop. Did pretty well. All right, let's land it and go for a quick flight. So my initial impression while flying these motors were, wow, these things are kind of shaky. But then rewatching this flight footage, it's not as bad as what I was seeing in the goggles. I know this is the goggle view, but you know, in the replay, I mean, the vibrations just aren't as severe. I don't, I don't know what doesn't transcribe over, but uh, in the goggles, it was a lot more vibrations, a lot more jello-y. I mean, you can see it there during that punch out, but while I was flying, I was constantly thinking, oh man, I, I wouldn't fly these at all on stock PIDs and stock rates. This is just, you know, not enjoyable. But, you know, rewatching it and watching the footage, you know, it handles the basic maneuvers, uh, punch outs, they handle rolls, they handle uh, power loops just fine. Um, you know, there's 6S motors on a 6S battery. Uh, they're small, they're designed for a Cinewhoop. This is a, I think I weighed it, I think 408 grams. I'll post a picture I'll, at the end of this flight so you can see the exact weight for this setup. But all in all, I mean, they're fine. If I would fly these on something, it might be a four inch prop. I think that or a Cinewhoop would be more suited for this motor. All right, so we're all set up on a 4S battery. So we're gonna do a quick line of sight of the Flywoo 2303.5 1750 KV. So this is 4S. We'll do a quick uh, hover and a couple of punch outs and then we'll fly. The 
three inch prop. Or excuse me, it's a five inch prop with a three inch pitch. on 4S. All right, let's switch. So as lackluster as that punch out was on 4S, this flight doesn't get much better. Uh, you know, granted, these are 6S motors I'm running on 4S right now. If I were going to be trying to do some long distance on a lightweight 5 inch, you know, would I consider these motors? Um, you know, probably not just because they're a little bit heavier than uh, another motor of its same ca class or category. And if you look, you see the, the punch outs and the maneuvers weren't clean. There was still a lot of vibration. I know I didn't tune it, but uh, you, you would think on a 4S, you wouldn't get as much of that uh, distortion in the motor noise, but there it was. Uh, I, I've flown other motors and just by cutting the, uh, the amount of power reduces the amount of vibration just because you know it doesn't have that much throttle but no it was it was there it was very evident here to be honest i saved this portion with the 4s batteries to be last just because you know it was so lackluster i didn't like the way it performed i don't recommend running these motors on a 4s um again you know i don't know what type of setup which would benefit from a 6s motor running on a 4s but as you can see, there's other options than this one. I think this motor is just too small. Um, it's not a tremendously heavy quad, it's 400 grams. So I think if you're looking to pick up a set of these motors, stick to using it on a Cinewhoop or maybe even a four inch quad and use 6S for sure. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.